Hi, I'm Danny Bent. I'm one of the co-founders of One Run Global Relay. I just wanted to tell you about my time when I was at school. I'm dyslexic, a little bit hyperactive, and I used to get in a lot of trouble at school. And my books would be full of the red pen of the teacher correcting all my mistakes. And I'd go home from school, and one day I said to my dad, this is what all the other kids are doing and this is what I'm doing. And my dad just looked me straight in the eye and said, Danny, don't worry about what anyone else is doing. Just be the best version of you. And everything that's happened in my life has come from those words. And it gave me the confidence just to be really true to who I am. And a good example of this is at the Leavers Assembly of junior school when I was 11 years old. The head teacher got us all up on stage. The other pupils were in front of me. The teachers were down the sides of the hall. The parents were all sitting at the back. And she said to us, what do you want to do when you grow up? A really simple question. People said a vet, footballer, doctor, politician. And it got to me and I was really, really skinny with big ears. And I said to her that I wanted to cycle around the world and raise money for charity. And I, I went on in life, I tried lots and lots of different things, but one day I was cycling in the Alps and I actually fell off a cliff. I fell, it took me seconds to land. I had time in my head to imagine what was going to happen when I hit the ground and then suddenly I hit the ground and I couldn't feel my body at all. And from there, I could see the tears above me, the tears of my, my friends above me, the screams. And suddenly I started getting feeling back into my body and I looked up at them and I went, I think I'm alive. And the beauty of this situation is that I suddenly became more alive than I had been. I was falling to what should have been my certain death and I found myself miraculously unharmed, but listening to my dad's words more than ever to be this best version of myself. And I thought back to that dream I'd had as an 11 year old of cycling around the world and raising money for charity. And I thought, I'm gonna do that right now. And I set off, I cycled 9,000 miles from London to India and had amazing adventures all along the way an incredible experience, life-changing. And there are some beautiful lessons to be learned when you're out on the road. The first one, I told you at the beginning, I'm dyslexic. And I was encouraged after writing a blog every day about my journey, putting it out on the internet, people were reading it and they said, Dan, you should, you should pull all these together and turn it into a book. And my dyslexic self was thinking, no way that is going to be so embarrassing. People are going to look at my spelling mistakes, my grammar mistakes. But people kept on and I decided to do it. I, I decided to go for it. And I wrote a book about cycling from London to India. And that book went on to be a bestseller, sold hundreds of thousands of copies. And then it started winning awards for literacy. I could not believe it. But I, I want to tell you about a few stories that happened along the way. And those stories taught me another valuable lesson. And that is that you can always find a positive in any situation. I just want to tell you one story. I had I'd arrived in India. I'd met some people who were also traveling. They were sharing the same accommodation as me. We had four beds. There were four of us sleeping there. The three who were sharing this room with me were all being very, very ill. They call it the deli belly. They were being sick, coming out the other end as well. It was disgusting. But slowly, they went to bed, they shut their eyes, and they fell asleep. They'd been sharing a drop toilet between the three of them. It was horrid. Slowly, they went to sleep. One by one, they lay on their beds, they shut their, their eyes, they fell asleep. And finally, I was thinking, well, I can go to sleep now. They're all taken care of. Switched the light off, lay down on my bed, and I felt 
these things touching my face. And I'd been traveling quite a long time. I'd got used to things like bed bugs. And I thought, oh goodness, got bed bugs again. And I reached down into my, my bag and I pulled out my roll mat, the thing you sleep on, rolled it onto the bed, lay on top of that and hoped that would keep them off me. I didn't switch the light on because I didn't want to wake up the guys that were ill. I was being caring for them. And, but still, I could feel these things hitting me. And the worst ones where it hits you right there in your tear duct, that can wake you no matter how tired you are from sleeping. But anyway, eventually I did fall asleep and I woke up the next morning, felt great, just needed to go for a wee. So I popped into the toilet where they'd been, been sick and things earlier. And I looked into the mirror and I, I glanced in the mirror and I thought, well, I've, I've aged about 30 years. I had a big beard, I had big shaggy hair, and it had all gone completely white. And I kind of stepped past and I looked back and I looked closer and I saw that my beard and my hair were completely filled with maggots. Above my bed, there'd been a wooden beam and it was full of maggots and they'd been dripping on my face all night. And I, I do worry that maybe I'd been snoring and any had been falling into my mouth. But, so I'm disgusted. This is one of the most disgusting things you can ever imagine. But these lessons of life, these things that I've learned on the way, have taught me to always try and look for a tiny positivity, tiny chink of positivity that I can use to make this situation better. And suddenly, Instead of trying to get them out of my beard, I was trying to hold them into it as I'm calling to the guys next door to grab your camera because I thought this is going to be the most viral picture on the internet that you have ever seen. And the guys took a picture, me with the maggots in my beard, poking their little heads out. And I just, I think now to that image, getting its billionth like, on Facebook or Instagram. And I, that mentality, the finding the positivity, just saved that little situation, saved me being so disgusted. And you can use that in your lives whenever you need. It's a real, real great thing to look at. I'm Danny Ben, co-founder of One Run. Stay awesome.